subscribe to the channel. So before we go out for the day, this is my outfit for today. So I've gone for this very simple, very comfortable outfit. I'm wearing this long sleeve white cotton top and I believe this one is from Theory. And then I've gone for my wide leg denim jeans. I'm not going to be wearing a belt because I just want it to be really casual and comfortable, but I do love the fit of this wide leg denim. And then for my shoes, I've gone for my Adidas to just be very comfortable while we are walking around because we're going to be doing a lot of walking today. Yesterday, we walked right around six miles. So today is probably gonna be right around probably seven or eight miles because we've got a lot of places we're going to go to today. Now for my jewelry, I've gone for, my necklace is still in here. This necklace I got probably about three or four years ago. It is from either, I think Monica Venator or Missima, but it's got this little rose heart on it. And I usually wear this necklace all the time. And those of you who have been on my channel for a very long time know that I don't have a whole lot of jewelry pieces. I just have pieces that are very high quality that will last me for a very long time. And then my same rings that I wear in most of the videos that you see I do. And I've just got my little hair scrunchie here because you would not believe it, but I forgot a comb. And for my perfume of the day, I'm gonna go with Chanel number no. five. So we're gonna put on just a little bit of Chanel number no. five. Honey, do you like this fragrance? Have you ever? Since it's going to be quite cold here in Boston, we actually woke up to 28 degrees here in New England. I am going to be tying this outfit together with the scarf. This scarf I got in Avignon, France, while we were in the south of France last year. So I'm going to be pairing this around my neck with the outfit. So that is my outfit for today. husband and I have gone to the grocery store and we've got a few things that we can have for breakfast and we've got some strawberries blackberries we've got some salad greens that we're going to be making a big salad later we've got some organic eggs we've got a few lemon slices that we put in our water in the morning time. And we picked up some unsweetened almond milk because I'm going to be making a smoothie in the morning. And before we head out to go to Salem for the wedding, the next thing we have are, we've got some avocados. We've got three avocados. We got an onion for the salad. We picked up some tomatoes, a little banana for the smoothie. I'm not gonna put this entire banana in my smoothie because I don't like sweet. And then we've got some seaweed that this is gonna go in our salad tonight. We've got some pumpkin seeds and we've got a whole, we went and got this whole thing of water because we're gonna need water for the day. So I wanted to do this little section as a voiceover. So we headed out for the day and we are going to have breakfast at Tate Bakery and the food was so amazing. And then after breakfast, we are heading to Copley Place Mall 
where I'm going to start this try on at Oak and Forth, which is a beautiful store in Copley Place Mall. The first outfit is this beautiful sort of oatmeal colored skirt with the matching top and I love the collar on this dress and I just really love the silhouette and it fits my body really really well this is a beautiful outfit for the spring and I don't remember what the material was but I thought the outfit was stunning and you could pair this with some white sandals or even some beige or oat colored shoes and it would look beautiful this next outfit are these cream colored trousers and I paired it with this ladies jacket sweater it's sort of that cardigan look but it also looks like a ladies jacket and I did like this outfit I thought that the black and white contrast with the beige going in the front of the sweater was a really good matchup for these pleated trousers and I just love the way it fit I think everything that I tried on today fit really really well so a beautiful look for the spring very classy very elegant and sophisticated now these are the same trousers but with a vest and this is a great look as well it wasn't one of my favorites in the haul, but I do like the way that the vest pairs with this blazer. So it's a very chic and very polished look, but just not one of my favorites. But I do love the way that the outfit fits my body. And this is something that can be worn easily when it's really hot in the summertime. Now, this was a very casual outfit and it was my absolute favorite of everything that I tried on in the store. There is just something about all black that just looks very polished, very sophisticated and put together. Even though it's a very casual outfit, this top is sort of cropped, even though it comes just a little bit um, above the waistline. And it is just really beautiful. It goes well with these cargo pants. And this is just my favorite outfit of everything that I tried on. It's very comfortable, very casual, but also that sort of chic and sporty look that I love to wear when I am traveling. And you guys can see that I'm very into this outfit. I think it is gorgeous. Now right here, I'm going to try on this spring trench coat. I have several trench coats at home, but I just wanted to try this one on because it was made from a different material. It was a more lightweight trench coat than those that I have at home. And I do love the silhouette of this trench coat. Now this one I tried on was an extra extra small this trench coat runs super super oversized and the gentleman that you just saw walk across in the screen he showed me a different way to tie the trench coat which you'll see in just a moment I absolutely loved and I think it gave the trench coat a very very different look and you ladies let me know in the comment section down below what you think about how he tied this trench coat up in the back. I thought it was really lovely, but give me your comments and your feedback down below. Now this is the bow that he tied and with the silhouette of how the trench coat hangs on me with that bow in the back, I loved it. If I had not already had three trench coats at home, I would, I would definitely get this one.
Look at that. I love the bow in the back of this trench. And that's another style habit, you ladies, that you can tie your trench coat in different ways, but I love this. 